Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. And not to sound repetitive or anything, but we're going to continue our look today at the AI Mech KO of the Studio Series Devastator with the head of the big lad, that being this guy, Death Roll, better known to us as Mixmaster. He's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got by True Review. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe while you're at it, light them up, baby. And hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all my social media links. All that's in the description down below. Also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. A lot of lines there. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. And this is... AOMX, I don't know why it says D&D, AOMX take on, I don't even know if I'm saying AOMX right, uh, Mixmaster, what a peculiar oddity, what a wild peculiar oddity, weird look, weirder robot, um, strange even combined, mo I have no idea how the combined mode attaches to anything, not a clue. Uh, it's it's a lot of weirdness to unpack here, so without any further ado, let's head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And I'm starting to feel like a broken record, but we are indeed continuing on with our look at the AOI Mech KO of the Studio Series Devastator team members. Again, this one is branded as D&D for whatever weird reason, I don't know. Uh, this, of course, is Mixmaster, and boy, oh boy, it, he's kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. And I wouldn't necessarily say that he is exactly spot on to the actual one. It's There are a, a few little differences here. We'll talk about it as we go, but before we get to him, we got to look at this packaging first. And our boy is named Death Roll. Uh, kind of a cool name. You can see a picture of him in robot mode there on the front. The sides are really kind of nothing, and same thing on the back. It's pretty basic of a box. And here's our boy. We have no accessories that came with this guy. We also don't have any instructions, so this is going to be fun. I feel like the gray that you use here might be slightly lighter than the gray of the official. Maybe? Uh, and besides that, there's a, I'm going to say I think it's a slight mold difference. Down on the bottom part of the barrel, I think on the official there is a round peg and a peg hole. That is absent here. It's not on this. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but it, it, this is still quite solid. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Of course, we're going to go to the combined mode, or what I believe to be the combined mode first, and then we'll go to the um, robot mode so that we can do all the scores and whatnot. We've already looked at four members, both of the legs and the two torso pieces. So, the series is kind of plugging along. This is the fifth member of, I believe, eight. Rolls great, honestly. Now, the front of this is a parts-forming piece. If you don't like that, then you're probably not going to like this guy. I, From what I've heard, from what I've seen, it seems like the front of this on the official comes off a lot easier than it is on the KO. I'm going to attempt now to take it off. And I don't want to cut away because I want you to see just how challenging it is on the KO. This whole front grill piece can come off on the KO. I don't know if it does on the actual. So I'm going to attempt. Oh, got it. Oh, this, there. Like it's not, I feel like what I've seen, it comes off a lot easier on the, I don't know, like the, the official version. Nevertheless, here it is. Normally I've ripped this front grate off, but I didn't this time. So hey, go me, maybe I'm getting better. Then I always, bring these out to the side and I'll sort of leave them for now because we're going to have to deal with with that shortly I guess. You'll also notice I didn't compare him to the like Combiner Wars Mixmaster or anything yet. We will compare this set to the Combiner Wars Constructicons in vehicle and in robot mode and we're going to compare both Devastators once we get to the finale of this. We lift up this cab section and we bring out these pieces inside and we bring out the front of Devastator's head 
and we bring up if I can do it yeah that red piece and this red piece we close this down and these are ears I don't know what we call it and then we bring this back and that's there's Devastator's mug looking at you right there there's a fan mode where you can put the legs of Mixmaster down and have him standing up <laughs> Devastator's head looks goofy I'm not showing it but you can do it uh, then we then we deal with and I think I can put these stacks back up now if I'm not mistaken then we deal with kind of back here and I believe we yeah split this and open it out and open I can do it open it out Whew. okay I'm going to readjust things because now the guy is kind of splaying out here a bit and we'll kind of continue with his legs I'm just gonna give me a moment to readjust okay so we're gonna deal with the legs you may notice that I split the drum here and the drum over here it's just easier to do it now than later then we come to the bottom down here actually I should have had it, this already done and we bring these two pieces down and again being back here we take this leg and we do that with it we take this leg and we do that with it and we angle that down thusly so yeah the legs look like they're in a bit of a weird ish shape we take the hands and bring them down and we take this hand and bring it down we fold in and that piece I don't know if you can see it I hope you can see it because it's not the easiest thing in the world to show and we bring that uh, then we now actually I'm, I am going to close in right here because this is different on the KO than on the official okay so with the drum we pick it up and then this piece should be able to come up now around right here if I'm not mistaken there is on the official a peg down here and a little port molded in right here it's not on this one I don't know what kind of a difference it makes so we fold that in and then we fold that out and then we bring this down on the other side we're going to do the exact same thing um, with this piece we're going to fold it in and then fold it out here and then bring this down and then we're going to close the arm in and when we close the arm in both arms using the top part of the drum they will lock into each other the bottom part will not lock into each other so that it looks like this oops before I close them in I did want to explain something there are two circular holes right there in the black the top one I believe is the one we use for truck mode and I think the bottom one is the one we use um, for combined mode here or vice versa I'm not sure I actually need to close both arms in and see which one of these holes goes over this peg here and same with this peg over here but they do lock together as well all right so we got these together and I can confirm that it's the lower black peg hole that pegs over the peg on the side of the leg there then between these two black tires we have a little notch and that little notch takes the toe of the foot really up there and on the other side same thing we have that little notch and the toe goes up there and then lastly there's a little uh, notch right there and a little notch right there and we take the cab section and there's a little peg right there and a little peg right there and they tab down into place on that side Oh, if I can do it if I can do it they tap down I'm gonna get that in so yeah dumb me I was struggling because I was trying to put it in the other way around which is the incorrect way it should be like this uh, where the grill is up right here but basically um, there's Devastator's head I have no idea how this combines uh, yeah let's do the transformation to robot mode which should be fairly easy from here I'm going to pick that off and I'm going to pick this apart and I'm going to take these legs down and I'm going to open these all the way out to the side again I'm going to the head on this copy loves to pop off in fact it just popped off again there then on the ball peg and of course now I gotta try and get the ball peg forward which it doesn't seem to want to do so I'm gonna straighten up that leg and straighten up that leg there's the two legs I'm gonna get the head on and then we'll deal with the arms and the body 
Slight change of plans. I might as well deal with this whole section before putting the head on because I'm only going to pop the head off again if I don't deal with it right now. And I think the head popping thing is probably something to do with the KO rather than the official one, but I can't confirm that maybe it's common that his head pops off. So really we begin by bringing these smokestacks. I'm going to take them all the way to the front for now. It's just the easiest. Then we can kind of pick the front of the head of Devastator off and open out. We should be able to next open out. I might have to open these little pieces here. Open that out and fold those in. Fold in that red piece on Devastator's head and that red piece on Devastator's head and we fold this all the way down and then we bring this down over. Great. Now we need to try and reattach up here that front cab section. You remember me trying to get it off earlier? Well here's me now trying to get it back on. It's not, it's not elegant, but it's on. Then we should be able to now bring the, all of that down on the back. Come to the front, and these smokestack sections are here, and we can even fold up that section and that section. You'll notice we have a, the ball peg there with no head on it because it did pop off. I'm just going to pop it back on. Boom. There's the head, there's the body, there's the legs. Now, oh, bring that hip up. Now we need to deal with the arms. And the arms on this guy are a little bit of a beast, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we turn at the shoulder and turn at the shoulder. Then we kind of bring down, out like that, and bring it down. This whole piece here folds to the back of the arm, and then we rotate the arm around and bring it down the rest of the way. This section up here, I don't know, you can do what you like with it. I think it's supposed to be like this, but I mean, you can angle it up if you like. I, I guess you could bring it out and down. You can bring it in a little bit, but I think it's supposed to be down like that. There's also this hinge in here, so you can actually angle the arm down further if you if you want, I guess. There's, there's some weird arms to this guy. On the other side over here, again, we lift that up. This can come all the way to the other side. We bring this out and down and fold it around like that. And then we fold this like this. And really, in essence, boom, here we have Mixmaster in his robot mode. So I won't lie, doing this guy without instructions is a bit rough. There's a lot going on here, especially with the arms. And Ooh, buddy, there is quite the backpack on this lad. Um, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. It's just the whole cab of the truck is on his back. Luckily, he has big, hefty feet so he can stand up. I expected the articulation of this to be atrocious. So let's talk about the transformation first. The transformation isn't too bad once you get used to it. Tabbing, going back to truck mode, trying to tab the four pieces of the drum together is a bit of a nuisance. Um, on the KO, taking this section on and off doesn't feel the best. I don't know how it feels on the official. I'm going to say the transformation is about a 7. I feel like there's some things they probably could have done a little bit better here. So I'll say it's about a 7. In terms of the look of the guy, I mean, it looks like Mixmaster. Is it, I mean, a perfect Mixmaster? That's kind of hard to tell. I, I, I'm going to say it's about as perfect as we're going to get. There's no Decepticon insignia down on, like, his forearm drum piece. Um, if you want, I mean, you could bring the arms down more like that if you're so inclined. That's up to you. I'm going to say that the look of the guy for being the weirdo that Mixmaster is supposed to be is easy a nine. And then we get to the articulation. This is what surprised me. That uh, in Devastator mode, the mouth opens and closes. That's fine. Here, the head can, it can kind of look left and right, but it's a little awkward the way it's doing it. It can look way up and down. I do think the ball joint should have been a little bit deeper on the guy. The shoulders can go out or all the way out. These go up all the way. So like, good articulation there. Um, by rights, this is the shoulder. It can go all the way around. You can use this hinge in here and that gives you a butterfly as well. Bicep swivel, elbow to easy 90 degrees but down. Um, the hands are just this no rotation or anything, so they're stuck in this like gorilla arm type of pose. No waist, no waist. So no wrist articulation, no waist, no ankles. 
Um, leg forward, leg back, thigh swivel, knee. So, I don't know, no ankle, no waist, no wrist. Little bit disappointing. I'm going to say the articulation for the guy is, again, it's about a seven. It's not stellar. He's interesting, but I feel like there's more that they could have done here to make this guy stand out. A nine for the look, a seven for the transformation, a seven for the articulation. Overall, the guy's about a 7.75. That being said, while the, I don't know, the scores aren't stellar, there is definitely something charming and enjoyable about this guy. As a matter of fact, he's one of the ones that I've actually had the most fun with in flipping him between modes. And I really can't tell you why, because the objective scores really put him at exceedingly average. But enjoyability factor, at least for me, I'd put the guy, you know, officially he's a 7.75, but personally, I tend to put the guy at about a 9. I just think he's playing fun. And I actually think his alt mode is more uh, mix master accurate than, say, the Combiner Wars one. Take that for what you will. And here we are, and here he is, and there's absolutely nothing here normal. Like, there's, there's, everything here is weird. Um, I, I do kind of like the transformation. I'm surprised at how well it splays out. Even though I don't like the parts forming piece. I really, really don't like that. I'm uncomfortable with that piece. Otherwise, I think it's all right. I, the articulation lacking in the areas it does is a real bummer. I wish he had a waist. I wish that the, at least had a wrist. Um, and maybe the actual one does. I mean, again, I can only go on the KO, right? Maybe the actual one does have a wrist. Maybe that's a KO thing. Maybe the actual one does have a waist. Maybe that's a KO thing. I feel like there's no reason why this couldn't have... Oh, man, no waist. I feel like there's no reason why this guy couldn't have had a waist. I feel like that could have been a thing. Yeah. <sighs> The head popping off. Like, there's just niggling little nuisance things with this guy. He's not bad. He's actually fun. He's interesting. He's wild. He's weird. He's wacky. I like him. It's just niggling little things that keep this guy from really being kind of a stellar version of Mixmaster. Starscream wife saw this and her reaction was, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> but I think that that was because he looks so alien, outlandishly weird and wacky, and I think when I showed it to her, I had him looking like this. Uh, it'd be nice if something better was done with the whole backpack thing. I don't know. I, I feel like, and I've said this before, I feel like the vehicle mode is his strongest mode. It's definitely kind of quintessential for Mixmaster. It's the cement mixer version that we all know and love. The robot mode is shockingly functional but really weird looking. If you're okay with super hyper alien looking, then this will be fine for you, even as a standalone. The combined mode head, I have no idea how it attaches. I guess we'll see how effective that is when we look at Devastator finally. <sighs> Officially speaking, kind of middle of the road. Personally speaking, I like him. He's a weirdo and that sits well with me. Let me know what you think about Mixmaster. I appreciate you guys coming by and giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know, man, how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon and see what we offer to you through Teespring or of course hit the join button right here on YouTube. Become a channel member. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, you right there, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit either in the live streams at the Stop Motion Bromeres or the old fashioned way, baby, right here inside the videos.